or a story filled with myth. And so dots from history, men that are sick on the sticks. NCAA football is where they now exist. As guardians of the dynasty, they are sick on the sticks. Trent Shane is the name Crushing all his rivals Cause that's the game they play From Filthy to Wisconsin They never stood a chance If you feel insulted to get on his show Trash talk Tuesday at 9pm There is no equally Nothing like this exists These men are all giants They're sick on the sticks You try to be just like us The story's all this time well called Disney, you're a Jedi and we're Order 66. Filthy hands and the U, the hurricanes are ablaze. Count your days cause you're through, filthy's usual will dominate you. He stabs people daily, so watch out for his blitz. D-line back or safety, he's sick on the sticks. And now J.R. starts to growl, gearing up for the big fight. He may play Taylor Swift, but on the field you'll feel his bite. Get your ass to the kennel, or don't you get my drift. This man is a dog, he's sick on the sticks. And we're Order 66 You think we might be done But that's where you're wrong Hive, Torque, and Doc Are just the middle of this song We got Dynasty, Jonesy, So and Bell Best of us, they're in the mix I told you we're all sick on the sticks We got 22 other guys I haven't even named one straight coach and shine It's even in his name. Hard hitter, Evans or even rich. You could be his next bitch. There is no equally, nothing like this exists. These men are all our giants, they're sick, all the sticks. You try to be just like us. The story's all this time. Might as well call Disney your a Jedi.
you so much again for having me, Snipes. I am doing fantastic. How are you tonight? I am excellent, man. I'm excellent, man. Packed night tonight uh, with three games here tonight. Two of them here for the uh, Sick on the Sticks League. Uh, we got another one at 10 p.m. tonight. I got another game I got to do before that. But this game here, this is a Rose Bowl game. You got to let these guys know what is going on with the, with this game because this this, this looks like it's going to be pretty intensive with, with, with power versus speed. Absolutely. I couldn't have said things any better myself on that one. So this is going to be one of those classic Rose Bowl matchups that you think about, even like going back to 20 years ago, like Vince Young versus Matt Leiner. You have two stud quarterbacks here. And I love that comparison because specifically, if you're talking about these two teams here, you've got the exact du dual archetypes that we've got going on here. So yeah. Oregon, Luke Moga is the absolute definition of a dual threat quarterback. This guy has over 30 touchdowns on the season, but they're not all through the air. He's done a fine job through the air. He's, you know, he's managing things pretty well, but he's an absolute utter dual threat quarterback. And on the other side of things, you literally could not say the same thing about Brock Kayser. Yeah. Brock Kayser has negative 28 rushing yards on the season. So he's not <laughs> going to go anywhere. But he's also got a respectable 31 touchdowns to 17 picks. So he's still getting it done through the air. He's just doing it in a different way. And I love to see that specific duality here. You've got almost like the old school versus the new school when it comes to high-powered offenses in the NCAA. And I can't wait to see who comes out on top. Well, we're about to see what's going on as Clems is going to get things started here as Kaiser gets a handoff. As you can see here, Clemson with over 330 yards per game. Kind of... Damn near, well, not I ain't gonna necessarily say almost doubling, but they're pretty well up there as far as yards allowed per game defensively. Uh, but again, I gotta say right now, uh, because I, you know, obviously I want to get my opportunity to kind of shine a light here. Look, I, I witnessed this quarterback here in Oregon, okay? And when I tell you that he is a terror to deal with on a defensive level, I'm more intrigued to see what Clemson is going to be able to do defensively against this QB because he's just he's just too much. Okay, he is, he is too much. That game that we just that we saw a few weeks ago, it was mm -hmm. it, it was too much, bro. It was too much. It was it was it was it, way it, it, too he, much. He absolutely overpowered the opponent there. Yes. I think it's just the only overwhelmed even um, as we do have a big third and five here. This is going to be a big. OK, yeah. timeout. I love the timeout. If you don't love what you're looking at right now, the one thing you can't do against this Oregon team. And I think you'll agree with me having seen this Oregon team play a yes. couple weeks ago. You can't go three and out or maybe you get one first down, but you can't no. punt from your own 30 something yard line. You no. can't do that right now. Not at, not not at all. And we did call it in the game that we that we hosted uh, for Oregon. Listen, we, we, we said that this these guys are probably going to mess around and make it to the national championship game. And this is just another stepping stone here as they are getting real close to it. But it's a third and five. He's got to hurry up and hike it. Finally does get it off and will hand it off here and will not get the first just yet. Uh, so D.E. will get a couple. And that brings it now to a fourth and four. So he's going to have to punt the football out. So you just talked about three and out. There it is. It's a three and out. Yeah, that, that hurts, and I know he doesn't want to be punting the ball from this spot of the field. It's just the reality of what you have to do, but there comes that Oregon defense that we just talked about. Only 16 points per game is what yeah. they're giving up. Yeah. 34 turnovers they forced on the season. They are coming out strong so far. So let's see what Oregon could do here. Again, we talked about Mocha and what this guy's all about. He is an absolute terror to any defense, and this is a solid Clemson defense that we're about to see here, but I don't think they saw <laughs> anyone <laughs> like Moga. Up to, up to, you guys are gonna see him just a minute. If you did not watch him before when we had him here, you're about to see it. This guy is a treat to watch. As we yeah, get he is. He and and he's playing at a very high level. This is exactly the kind of offense that um that I want a guy like Moga in. And Moga's not one of those freak athletes that got recruited. Like he was, he was there. Yeah, from yeah. Day one. Yeah, yeah. And this is another freak of nature right here as well, too. And Jordan James. So this running attack here for Oregon, they're they're going to be something to deal with. And uh, again, I, I'm I'm just real intrigued to see what Clemson's going to do throughout this game with this guy. But 
Let's see what he does here. It's a first and 10 now to 44 to get the first first down of the game. As Moga comes out here in the pistol set, gonna hand it off. Oh, never mind, he faked me out as well. And Moga's just gonna immediately take off, slide down, and get two plays for two first downs here, J-Dog. Yep, that's exactly what you want. You, you immediately, you see the guys coming across the field following the crossers, you're like, it's gonna be way too easy for me to get any 10 yards right up the middle here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Chirac Savages in the chat, rightfully pointing out, Clemson does have the Heisman winner. Yes. And I do wanna call that out as soon as they get the ball back. Um, but right off the rip, kind of what I was looking for uh, just, you know, in, in the intro, these two quarterbacks going back at it. Luke Moga is able to generate some offense here. We'll see what Kayser can do when he gets the ball back next time. Absolutely. is another handoff here. So three straight running plays, two by running backs, one by the quarterback. It's a five-yard gain there, brings it to a second and five now at the 41-yard line. Clemson trying to possibly hold him to three because they're making it look pretty easy right now running this football on this tiger defense second down and five coming up here at the 41 moga in the gun set bunch to the right side of the hash marks and moga back for the pass let's see what he's got trying to make a read here and has to throw the football away that's a good solid job there on the defensive side on that particular play third down coming up mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what they did was they had good lean discipline up front because where you will get burned against Luke Moga is that exact kind of play, but where he gets just a little bit of an opening to scoot up the line and kind of just run for 10 yards for free like we saw him on, on that play a couple plays ago. So here we go, third down and five. Looks like some type of man set, but he's going to hand it off to James. He's got greener. He takes off, gets the first down, and then some hits the sideline, and he is knocked down at the 13-yard line. Big gain officially now in the danger zone and a first and 10 here at the 13-yard line. I love this play. We're going to see it right here. The... The, the read so everybody that is going against Luke Moga is going to tell their defenses to be conservative focus the quarterback so what do you do you get your running back to be the guy that's going outside and get him all that space and toss to the outside this time and we'll get knocked down only three this time around but again staying positive as usual that's what you want to do if you are Oregon running this football second down to seven now coming up here at the 10 yard line Clemson will be extremely ecstatic if they could just hold them to three points second and seven as moga he will be but let's also he's gonna be upset that he let this drop this drive this job going down the field happen at all b-boy is he's not nobody right he's competitive yes does have those three losses on the season but he's still ranked eighth in the nation for a reason with three losses so i'm just i'm over here and i'm wondering at what point at what point is he gonna say you know what enough is enough yeah, that, that, that's a that's a great question and i see that l to i is saying that he can't hear you but mm. it looks like you can't, it looks right? uh, it, yeah i can hear you fine and it's showing on my end here that that we we can hear you when you talk uh but it, can everybody else hear hear my guy here let me know in the chat if you can hear him or not Please. i wonder if i can probably make it go through on the vmix but do, do I, I haven't done that in the past because i thought that would echo uh Tr uh, truman in the chat said that he can hear you so okay I, yeah yeah okay okay Steve, loud right. and clear everybody said loud and clear we're good we're good we're good okay okay <laughs> <laughs> swiper crank said up right well, hey, crank him up <laughs> <laughs> hey look hey look <laughs> hey look the apple airpod twos you can use them now as hearing aids you, you yeah, got yeah. If, you, if, you, <laughs> if you have an iPhone, do that. <laughs> what a time to be alive. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Let's hear you. Age grandpa. No, my hearing's fine. They're <laughs> oh, Third man. down is seven coming up here. Right. Well, and this goes back to it, right? If he's ecstatic, if he can stop this right here, he's got now. He's got Moga in this third Ooh, and seven. Oh, man. Finally throwing some back. Man, that is tough for Luke Moga. Just doing what he does, man. Punch it in. Yeah. Touchdowns. 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 That's exactly what you want if you're Oregon. Not so much what you want if you're B-Boy and Clemson. Not a whole lot you can do. It does plays results like that sort of feel inevitable when you're on this drive, right? And, and like, what are realistically, what's he supposed to do right here? I, there's not really a lot you could do. You try to cover James yep. on the outside. And look at the blocking. Mm. That that's so important. 
on that play and the blocking man. and the footwork man smooth like butter on bread yes indeed yes indeed so clemson mm. they're gonna get the ball for the second time here today they first time around they got a three and out and now we'll see what he does here on this second drive is you can see here he's got williams with a 99 speed so I, I i could almost guarantee you that oregon's defense is going to make sure that they key on williams on offense yeah well and they've got fast uh cornerbacks too right but the key the key has to be david is mume i'm i butchered that i'm sure i did that's but why i call him D -E. i call him D -E. <laughs> D -E, there you go there you go D -E, the heisman winning running back took it from a couple of left ends that had bad intentions and here he is right here just not a lot of room to work yeah not a lot yet the second down and nine now coming up but you can't you can't get away from that and and the, the the allure is there when you have a 99 speed wide receiver to say he's out there somewhere and yeah. just air it out but you gotta be patient give your heisman winning running back a chance in this game oh he had the zig and decided not to throw it and that's gonna bring it now to a third down and 18 and man i'm gonna tell you what we talked about it on the first drive that he didn't he could not afford a three and out this this right. second drive here he can't afford a three and out he's got to get this first down here if he's got to punt this ball out again i got a feeling he's going to be in trouble for the rest of this game i really do i mean i think you're right but what play do you have for third and 18 there's not many yeah you got to figure something out here and he did and he forced mm. it and it's going to be picked so a big interception here by the ducks and now it's starting to look ugly here already yeah that's just not there you'll see it right here that safety has it the whole way yeah i, but, I mean on the one hand you want to say well nothing was there because it wasn't but on the other hand literally a, a sack would have been better because then you can punt yeah so, absolutely uh, it's gonna be a rough one here right now 136 left here in the first quarter Mm. Oregon had a, a long drive the first time around and now they got short field and gonna hit him with the play action and Moga's gonna run out and throws it away incomplete pass so bring it out to a second down and 10 good pressure there by Clemson it was great pressure and a great job of not giving him somewhere else to go you know didn't let him leak out the front side of that play and hoping now that one of these times getting him in second or third and long will help keep the drive out of the end zone you got to basically hold them to three at this point uh you you, you got to hope that your defense just stifles uh moga here but look at james he just wow i mean that takeoff right there was just incredible look at the takeoff here once he hikes the football and i gotta put it in slow-mo but look at the takeoff here I mean, there was nothing the defense could do on that play. And he gets the first down like it's nothing. It's a first and goal now here at the 10 in the pistol set. And Moga's going to keep it and goes down and only gains a yard on the play. Second down and goal now at the nine yard line. I mean, James, like who ate his Wheaties this morning? Yes, he did. I man came out of there like literally it's like one of those roller coasters at six flags that's the jump start right <laughs> that's what that looks like <laughs> exactly uh exactly. i will say you know hive doesn't want moga getting hit like that probably the worst thing that could happen to him in this game is moga getting injured or the wear and tear making him just not what he is well i'll tell you right now what i will say is if moga gets injured clems has got a, a serious shot they got a serious shot at this point um I, I i'm not sure exactly who their backup quarterback is but he's not mocha that's for damn sure <laughs> he's not mocha all right i don't think he's dylan gabriel anymore either but i think gabriel's gone so a third down and goal coming up and that's going to do it here for the first quarter so first quarter in the books a seven nothing game as oregon is attempted to punch this thing into the end zone once again as we start this second quarter and uh right now defensively oregon looking good offensively looking pretty good here yeah. as well but now clemson this is a big time stop that they need right here 
They need this. They need this like more than anything else. Filthy, no, Moga's not down. He did just take a shot, and I was I was just saying those are the kind of shots that you know Hive doesn't want to see him taking. Um, you know, in, in case, God forbid, Moga were to go down. They're down and goal. Ooh, and he's not gonna get this playoff. Wow, he won't get it off. So yeah, that's gonna knock back five. So it's gonna be a third and long now coming up. Boy, now B Boy needs this third and goal from the 16 this is a heartbreaker like, right here if he does not if he can if he scores here this will be a heartbreaker for clemson's defense third down and goal this is his quarterback that he's got in the wildcat oh and he way. is trying it up there and that is a good job on the oh. defensive side so. Yeah, so and I was just noticing. So he's actually got a like an athlete quarterback that was better rated as a running back. So he, like as a recruit, like turned him into a running back. But yeah. now he's got a guy he can stick in the wildcat and actually pass the ball. I swear. Yeah. Any, if it can be, if it can be imagined of a way to just be more of a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. That's my one. High no, no, you're, no, you're, you're good. Like, you're good. And I, I say that I mean that lovingly because <laughs> he uh he's he's a good friend of the league. He, he's helped me out with my defense because I'll tell you. Well, I mean, good anybody that could help, I was taking it. Really. <laughs> I've heard <laughs> that. <laughs> oh gosh, he's got him. He's got oh! him. That's oh! big. That is big. Big play right there and Clemson oh! back in the mix with a big time touchdown. touchdown. B-Boy's in it with, with, that's the halfback. Man, we just said we wanted to see more, more for DE, and I did not imagine it was gonna come out in that way. Oh my gosh, and what's more, that's like the Hive's play. Like, wow. the disrespect. <laughs> wow. Do you remember, it was this play exactly, yeah. I think, that yeah. Hive ran at the beginning of the broadcast last time. <laughs> wow, wow, you do love to see it or not. If you're high right now, you're probably thinking there is no way that yeah. a running back on the run's gonna do that. But hey, there it is. Yeah, you know, I, I promise you, I've probably smiled at that as much as <laughs> I would be infuriated. I've probably smiled at that. I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell you what, right now, man, you, you you gotta give credit where credit is due to the Heisman Trophy winner. He got it done there. Good job by De. He did. And now the defense. Let's see if they could get a stop here as Moga gets back to the table here and look at them trying to get some oh, action and a oh, fumble and they're gonna oh, get it back. No, are you kidding me right now? Look at what Oregon is trying to get cute right now and they give up a fumble and now Clemson's got a shot at taking the lead. You cannot get cute on this Clemson squad. They tried to be cute, but. That was uglier than after the clock strikes midnight on the prettiest princess at the ball. What are you doing? Wow. Oh, and I, I, of course, if you just got beat with a flashy play, you want to do the same thing. But come on, man, that's not flash. That's a pumpkin. Yeah, that that's yeah, that's ju that's just not something that you do right now. It is too early in this game to try to pull out the trickery because you got beat now, by trickery. You just can't do right, that right, right and now. And the flip side is now, how's B-Boy respond? Because he's got to feel like he's got all the momentum. And he does, he does right now. It's a second down and three now. Gets a solid game there. Kayser's one for two for 12 yards. So he's not, <laughs> he hasn't had to do a lot. He has not now, had to do a lot right now. Boy, this, what, what a turn of events. This is a big deal here. Second down and three at the 12-yard line. Kaiser's going to get the... Oh, never mind. He won't get it. He gives oh. it to the to DE once again, and that's his fifth toe. He's only got seven yards rushing on the day, but hey, the biggest thing for him is a passing touchdown. <laughs> so he's the, he's the MVP right now. Got to give it to him. I'm pretty sure he's got a combined 82 yards in this game. Um... <laughs> But I, I still respect that he's trying different ways to get him involved on the ground as well. That's definitely the way to do it. He's going to launch that up, and that is caught, and Clemson will take the lead. What a big-time touchdown. touchdown. That is a big-time touchdown, and it takes it takes cojones to just challenge. To challenge, he's probably seen some tape. Probably knows that Hive likes to run that little flat zone right there where he's going to control the defender, add an extra zone in there, and knows, hey, Hive's not dropping back to the back of the end zone on this play. I'll have him back there if I want him.
Big, big deal, deal now. now. Oh, excuse me. Big deal. <laughs> My bad. Big deal now, though. But look, it's a four-point game now. It's a four-point game. So Clemson has the lead. We were sitting here consistently talking about situations where yeah. Clemson cannot, you know, just cannot give up a whole bunch of a b bunch of scores. They've done their job so far. It's still early, but they have done their job so far on this team. And oh man, that was extremely blessed blessing right there. That was an extreme blessing. Cause that would have been a tutty right there as well. But a first and 10, yeah. they're now to 26. Now let's see. Now let's see what is going to happen here with Hive. Is Hive gonna try to stay cute in the situation or is he gonna go ahead and make sure he could try to put this thing away? Let's see what he could do on this drive. I I would hope he doesn't push it because he's gotta know he doesn't have to. He had to drag open and he's trying. Look, he's it, right now. And you can tell me if you agree with me or not. Right now, I feel like these past couple of plays, Hive is thinking a little too much. Get out there and play mm -hmm. Oregon football. Yeah, you, yep. You're thinking a little bit too much right now, and that's an issue. Yep. Get out there and just play Oregon football. That's all you can do. Do what got you here. That's what you have exactly. to do at this point. Keep it simple, stupid. That's it. Mocha back for the pass, and he's bringing that heat. I'm going to tell you right now, that should have been a pick. Ooh. That's a third down coming up. That should have been an interception. Take a look at yeah. this here. That should have been a pick. That's, you hate to see this. It's that, one of those things I think the guy should just automatically put his hands up. I don't care if you're pressing oh, the button or not. Man, that's a pick. Wow. Third down and 10 here at the 26. He's bringing a lot of heat here. This front four is doing it. Oh, man. He, oh, man, never mind. He left him oh. wide open. I don't know what happened there, but we got to go back and take a look at that one as Oregon comes right back and takes the lead with a big touchdown. 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 Yeah. I don't know if that was match, match coverage or if he accidentally clicked onto the outside guy somehow trying to switch, but it certainly looked like they, whoever was supposed to be covering that deep zone just didn't. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Filthy. It looks like match, cover, match coverage broke there. He didn't even cut. Yeah, yeah, no, he, yeah he didn't cut. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Like he came up to try to double. It's. It looked that way. It looked that way. It's hard for me to tell. I hate when match coverage does that because I don't understand it. Yeah. I tell people that all the time. I, I'm sure it makes sense to somebody, but to me, I'm like, why would you? Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. Why would you ever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a match break. Uh, it was a match break indeed. So Oregon comes right back. They take the lead. Knock a little bit of pressure off him. DE is going to get stuffed for a loss of two on a play coming up on six minutes remaining here in the first half of this ball game. And I'll tell you what, right now we got a goodie so far here, J Dog. I'm enjoying this game so far. Me too. It's been fun, but I'll tell you what, I still do need B Boy to prove it to me. His. Two touchdowns have come off of a halfback pass for 75 yards mm -hmm. and then, you know, a strip sack, I guess you'd say, on a wide receiver pass. So I still want to see him sustain a drive, march down the field, and kind of like earn seven points with the offense, yes. you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. So a third down and two now coming up. Here to 33. Yeah. And we did later on tonight, uh, roughly around halftime, we're going to discuss a little bit about some of these other games are taking place in this in, in this bracket as well too a lot of a lot of big games going on uh yeah big, yeah big shout big, big, big shout out to uh i think it's uh jmo's world good big shout out to you in the chat appreciate you stopping by rocking with us and that is going to be dropped and it's a oh. fourth and two. Oh no wow is he allowed That's... to go for it here or he's got to punt it Look it's at this. One of those... Look at this. Oh. Wow. That's tough. I think it's stupid to go for it either way. Yeah, yeah. Because it, if you it, give it him is. the ball on the 33 yard line and he makes the right call here. Especially the way his defense has been playing. Yeah. Like, yeah, match coverage broke and it screwed you. But you've been applying good pressure. You've been getting home. You're making Mogo look a little more human than he has in, in a lot of these games. So I like the call to punt there. Um, I have to go back and check. That's in it's it's 
It's close. I'll look right now because I should just know this off the top of my head. And for all my Yankee fans out there right now, I'm I'm one as well too. I'm very upset, just like you guys are right now. At bottom at the bottom of the first, the Dodgers are already up two nothing. I uh, just wanted to put that out there to everybody right now because that game is live and in action right now as well too. Oh my gosh! He did, not have, he did not have two seconds to let that <laughs> ball go. That's what we call in Madden a nano. <laughs> That's what we call yeah. in Madden a nano. That looked like a nano right there. Second it, down and twelve. Wow. It sure did. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know what the guard and left tackle were doing there. That was that was unreal, and that's a big stop. Ooh. So now it's a third and 18. But man, take a look at this play. He didn't have five seconds. Look at this. No. Untouched, unscathed. I... Nobody. I mean, wow. <laughs> yeah, not even the, that, not even three that was seconds the came off. Block. <laughs> wow. Oh man. And th the third and 18, the decision with, with the ball behind the line of scrimmage doesn't help either. And a quick pass outside there, and he won't get anything. So fourth down and 18, and he's going to punt the ball out. So that's a win there for Clemson. That's it. This is a huge win for Clemson, and it goes beyond just the fact that he's gotten a stop here now, right? He is playing hard-nosed, smash-mouth football. He's saying, I'm going to beat you at the line. I, I, if, if he doesn't win at the line, he's going to get beat over the top. And yes. that may happen in the second half. But right now, he's saying, I'm going to beat you up. Oh, at the my gosh. Scrimmage. But they got it back. Oh, boy. Oh. That would have been <laughs> ugly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The way the ball just sits there. You're just. <laughs> oh, that is just crazy. Oh. So first and 10 now here at the 35 yard line. So there you go. The decision to punt was good. He gets the ball right back again, though. Still need to see forward movement. And good run here by D.E. as he'll get the first and 10 now. He at the 47-yard line. It's up to 16 yards rushing on seven attempts today. This is your Heisman winner for mm -hmm. the Sick on the Sticks League this year. And those don't look like Heisman stats in this game, but I bet you if you take away his first five carries over his last two, he's looking good. So it's just about getting him into that place where he's rolling. Play action pass here for Kaiser, and he tries to throw it mm. into double coverage and it's picked off. And he had a man on an in route open yep. and decided yep. not to throw it. And that is unfortunate on this particular play. But again, we'll go back and take a look at it. You'll see the man on the in wide open and he could have threw it there it would have been a shorter pass and an easy first down but right there on the in route oh. wide yep. open oh matter of fact yeah. maybe not he had to well maybe not and that's what he's not throwing it for but i'll tell you this he can hold the ball for another half a second yeah very true very true so i, I definitely saw during the play i was like why didn't he just you, you know, why didn't he just take that? And it's like, maybe he couldn't because the linebacker's taking it away. But I think you can hold it. Also, it looked like he did have a deeper play coming in as well. So, either way, you can't you can't throw to double coverage like that. Moga rolls out and throws the football away. And that's going to bring it now to a third down. So, third down coming up. Guys, don't forget at 10 p.m. or roughly around 10 p.m. or so, we will have... The Seminoles and the Hurricanes. That'll and be can coming I give up you at the 10 best p.m. Teaser for this game of all time. Yes, you can. It's the first time in college football history that two teams have played each other three times in the same season. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And for those of you who remember the first one, it was a blowout. It was ugly. The second one was a conference championship game, and it was a one-point game. Wow. And it looks like he got the, he got that first, didn't he? We're at the two-minute warning. That's so he, a great catch. Yeah, that's a great catch. A great catch indeed. And and the fact that uh, I didn't even I didn't even click the replay. I should have did it. But uh, but he basically he basically took an opportunity and it could have possibly been a pick there as well because oh, yeah. his guy got bumped. So he missed mm -hmm. he, he got misrouted there for a split second, but he was still able to make that catch. So that's a big deal uh, there. Well, so it, yeah, it's not to not to interrupt. You'd love to see the DB animate there. Like, to just even just stick your hand up. You can probably force the incompletion. Yeah. Um, don't don't get that. And in in that case, if you are, if maybe it's just out of his reach, whatever good ball location, do love it. At least somebody animated to go get it. Absolutely. 
So we'll second and seven coming up here at the 49 yard line. 142 left here in the first half. A lot of passing the football here. He's keeping the ball on the ground a little bit more here. And good run there. We'll get him another first down. So clock will stop at a buck 28 until it is down on the ground. First and 10 here at the 42 yard line. Jordan James with that first down carry. Yeah, well, and I love this because Moga's getting murdered back there right now. Let's be real. Yeah. So let's just take that out of the equation. Now you're moving the ball. You don't mind running the ball as long as you can get those first downs because it stops the clock. You have three timeouts. The time's not a factor right now. The clock is. First and 10 here at the 42. And going to hand this off. Defense gets in there with no problem at all. And again, another TFL there. So a second down and 13 coming up. Here at the 45. Comes out in the no huddle. One minute remaining here in the first half. It's going to hit him with the jet pass breaks it to the outside cuts it inside and he'll get the three yards right back and that'll bring it out to a third down and ten yeah and if you're confident you can get it either way um all of this is doing is ensuring that b-boy is going to have no time if he does get the ball back right so if you think hey i'm leading i get the ball at halftime i don't mind where i'm at right now defensively Let's yeah, just bleed this clock down. You, there's you lose this game. You're not playing again until next season. So that's the bottom line. Third and ten here at the 42 yard line, and he's letting his clock just wind down. I don't blame him for doing this right now. Most definitely is. Oh, will flag, and that's going to come back more oh. than likely. That's a tough flag, and it's going to be a hold. So it's a third down and 19 instead. If he accepts it. Or does he do fourth and three here? That's a big question. Mm. Does he do fourth and three here? And he will not. It's third and 19. That takes him out of field goal range. I think that's the smart call. I don't know if it's an easy field goal either way, but it did look like it was going to be fairly centered at least. Well, maybe it would have been on the left hash. I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's a bad decision either way there. So third down coming up in 19. Moga back for the pass and oh, we'll get nope. No, wait, actually he did he did get the completion. Has to call a timeout. But oh. how does he miss the tight end? The I, other I, guy. I, X? Yeah. 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 I I'm astonished. That was a first down at least. Well, none gets of, you in field goal range. Gets you. Yeah. Yeah. And that is gonna be a that's a solid punt actually, and that's gonna be out of wow, good punt down to seven yard line with seven seconds left. And now, pretty much going to get to halftime more than likely with a 17 to 14 game. So, by, by all means, great job by Clemson in the first half for Jay Dog. Great job in the first yeah. half. Well, well, it, it, tell me this, Snipes. If after the first two possessions of this game, I'd have told you that Clemson was going to go into the halftime down by three points, you'd be like, wow, that's pretty great. Yeah, yo, <laughs> yo, oh, yeah, absolutely. No question about it. It's a great it's a great job by Clemson in this first half. This was excellent. Halftime is 17 to 14. Oregon is in a dogfight right now here with these Tigers, man. This is a great game here so far. Again, thank y'all so much for tuning in here to this Rose Bowl activity here for the Sick on the Sticks League as we get ready to start this third quarter. Your boy Stites, my guy, J Dog in the building. Appreciate everybody once again tuning in as we kick off this third quarter. And uh, I did mention that we were going to talk just to, just for a split second here. You could kind of let everybody know what is going on here with here <laughs> with this college yeah. playoff right now. Yeah, so obviously we're, we're watching the Rose Bowl right now. Fantastic game. Um, as you can sort of see at the bottom there, the, uh, the Orange Bowl we've got later tonight. That's going to be a really, really good game. Uh, so Florida State has beaten Miami. Miami's only two losses are to Florida State, right? Once it was ugly in the regular season. The conference championship game they played, it was a one-point loss that Miami led for most of the game. It was a comeback win for Florida. And what's more, Hitta with Florida State has... Said on the record, I, I said I wouldn't beat him three times. So even hit him might might be at a little bit of crisis of conscience right now. Um, oh, but the other oh, two games. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they called the fumble, but he got it back. He had to a, come back live. Yo, yeah, I had to come back live for a second there, but I, I had to do that. I saw that fumble. Oh. I had to come back live. I apologize for that. But man, 
That was a big that hit. Been a disaster. That, that could have been a disaster. That, that definitely could have been right there for Oregon. It's a second and 21 now. And they'll hand it off to James. And James will only get three this time. So we'll bring it now to a third down and 18. Let me let you finish, my brother. Apologies. <laughs> no, no, you're good. That was, that was well worth it. The other two games that we've got coming up here, We've got Virginia Tech at Georgia. That's going to be a very good game between Retro and between uh, Virginia Tech. We're, we're really excited for that. Um, and then, of course, lastly, at the very top there, you've got two guys. All of these guys are great, by the way. There's not a single one of these matchups that we're looking at, and we're like, oh, I'm not sure about that. But you got Darth uh, Darth Dad with Texas A&M and Syracuse, of course, the reigning uh, national runner-up. Uh, in terms of uh, the national champion um, is going to be uh, LDI. You know who you're not going to see up there in any capacity at all is going to be Michigan, the wow. defending national champion from season one. Yeah, yeah. Was not invited this season, so we're going to have a new national champion in season two. Hey, that, hey, um, that's always great, though. That's always that's always great. Oh, for sure. No, I, w I will say it's like it's – you're not going to see too many leagues where the defending champion doesn't even make the college football playoff. And it's not at all because Evans, our Michigan user, wasn't playing up to standard. He did miss a couple of games due to vacation. That that played a huge part in it. But at the same time, it's great to see all these other guys seizing the opportunity and, and getting their time in the spotlight as well. Absolutely. As D.E. is going to get the toad here and he'll get him past the 50 down to the 43 yard line. New set of downs here. First and 10 coming up as... He's starting to try to get his star running back going here on the ground. So first and 10 now here at the 43-yard line. And this time he's coming out here in the Wildcats setup. And he's going to straight up the middle. And there goes your Heisman. D.E. to the crib for the touchdown. touchdown. He hit him with the mini. I know it wasn't supposed to be. That was supposed to be a stiff arm, but he hit him with the Heisman wave on the way by, too. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Man, this is what we were saying, right? We got to get him involved in the game. However, you got to make it happen. Just get him the ball. Good things will happen. And it definitely happened right there. So now the extra point will make it a four-point game. Unreal. Look at this I mean, play. He is saying, are you not entertained? <laughs> oh, we're definitely entertained in this game. This is a very entertaining Rose Bowl here right now. A fantastic game indeed. So a four-point lead now for Clemson. And Oregon will get the football back, and they almost Ooh. broke free. Oh. But it is a first and 10 here at the 23-yard line. Oregon back to work. So listen, we was given a ton of praise with this Oregon QB. A ton of praise mm -hmm. earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. He has not been the same. Mocha has not been the same in this first. Feel in like the he first hasn't half. It. Yeah, agreed. That's fair. That's yeah. fair to say. Yeah, absolutely. And he's trying to become the same here, but he does get eight on the play. It'll bring it out to a second down and two. He made a quick read on that one. Didn't see anything. Ended up taking off, getting two yards. So a second and two here at the thirty-one yard line. Comes right back out here, and the guns has everybody spread out this time. And gonna hand. Oh, never mind. Doesn't hand. He keeps it, and now will lose five. And listen, this defense has been extremely impressive, creating pressure throughout this entire game today, J Dog. Yeah, they they have been they, like, I. It, like like I said, they're going to beat you with the line of scrimmage until you make them pay for it. That is their mantra in this, like, last two quarters, I there would say. There they go again. And a Here's bet. Again. There it is. He did, look, look. He is just, I think he has put the blueprint out there for Moga. He's put the blueprint out there. Get pressure, period. Get yeah. pressure on him, and you can beat him. And he's doing that right now. Now Clemson is in the driver's seat. And they could really make some big things happen if they could get a score here. And they'll start at the 36-yard line. First and 10 coming up here for Clemson. And great oh, he job here today back. by B-Boy, man. Great job today by B-Boy. Uh, absolutely fantastic job. He did miss a cutback on that. He may have been able to take it to the house. Yeah. It's hard to say. Um, but exactly fantastic job of stealing himself, allowing his mental fortitude to keep him in the game. And all of a sudden, you said it. He's in the driver's seat. 
He'll hand it off here to DE again, who just got the last tutty, and this time around he'll lose a yard. He'll bring it down to a second down and 11 here at the 35. But he's up to a, what is that, like 7.6 yard per carry yeah. average now? Yeah. yeah. So after a very pedestrian start, he stuck with it, said this guy won the Heisman for a reason. Maybe jump-started him with a passing touchdown, who knows. But got him where he needed to be, and, and now, now he's in the driver's seat. So here we go. Kaiser back for the pass. Going to launch this up. Defense is right there to get the pick. He gives it right back. Unfortunately, he was feeling himself a little bit, and now look at Oregon. They are back at the 20, and that is a big deal now for these Ducks. It's a huge deal, and you just can't do it. His defense has played exceptionally well. When you consider the fact that he's made now a couple of really bad throws down the field, bad decisions. The throw is just what was always going to happen. The decision's been bad, and that is, that's not championship caliber football. Let's see if he can still back it up with his defense. And the defense did a great job there as what is will get in there and create a good job there off of the edge. And get create a second down at 14 now. I, I got to say, though, that you got to stick with what works here if you're Clemson. What's working for you right now is using DE. Get him the ball just like you stated, and good things will happen. You got to continue to do that. You can't keep throwing the football like you're doing and trying to create something, you know, massive. If you got if, if to have a 14-play drive, so be it. Do what you got to do. Start, you know, shut that clock down a little bit and that'll help you win this football game. But when you do things like that and you just automatically give a high potent offense the football back, you're going to have issues for the rest of the game. Right. When you're putting your defense in, in a worse position, you don't want to betray your defense like that. This is a pretty much no brainer call. Most offenses can get an mm. inch. Boy, that was close. Yeah, that was very close. He did get it, though. <laughs> So as you can Most see right now, Moga, he, Moga's only got 17 yards rushing. He shut Moga down. He really has. Well, and sacks are a part of that, yeah, too. Yeah, of right? course, of course. Um, but yes, he has. He, he, without question, Moga's gotten free like a couple of times where it mattered. Yeah. But he's been getting lit up all game long. First down and goal here at the 10. Hits him with the play action. Watch Casper right there on the drag, and he's going to go right to him. And we'll get knocked down at the five-yard line. So a second down and goal, under two minutes left here in this third quarter. We'll be down to one more quarter. I got to let the guys know that for the next game that we're going to be a couple minutes off, but it'll be all right. Second down and goal here at the five-yard line as Moga. Barking out the calls here, trying to change some things up. And he's going to get a little speed play here and a good job in covering James in that backfield. Make him make him decision. And he did just that. And that's a good stop. And now it's a third and goal here at the four. He needs to stop here. Yeah, I agree with you. It certainly does seem like that. It's got to be what happens. Third and goal at the four yard line. 105 left here in the third. Got a little slot work back there and he's gonna launch it up and that is a beautiful play. Mm -hmm. A great play call and Oregon punches in a major touchdown. Absolutely gorgeous. That's the play he needed to have. Get back in this game, take back over the lead. Just beautiful trickery i guess you'd say just a great read yeah absolutely this is absolutely a perfect read here obviously in college you only need one foot in but he definitely had two feet in regardless didn't matter but a great Utterly job beautiful. that's like a that's like a fake zone read yeah. where they just leave that guy open down the field yeah so first and 10 here at the 25 yard line clemson back to work here on offense Let's see if he takes heed to what we were discussing earlier. Just got to get D.E. to football and just kind of punch his way downfield. Use a little bit of clock. If he could take the lead with well, a little less time on his clock, man, that'll really give him a, 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 a big time factor to get back in this game. And if he was able oh. to get through that, he had greenery. But nonetheless, 
it's a loss of five and a second and 15 coming up. Yeah, that's huge in terms of the stop for Hive because if he doesn't get that, that's a disaster. Yes. On the flip side of it, it's kind of a disaster for B-Boy because, again, it's just what we talked about. Just keep, keep it simple. Get the ball moving forward. Don't do all of this nonsense that's putting you in a worse position. Second and 15 here at the 20. Kaiser back for the pass again. And he is going to get it out. That's a great decision. That's what we're talking about. Make plays like that right there. Move the sticks. Don't try to go for the home run hitter. And you'll give yourself an opportunity. And you got one now. It's a first and 10 here at the 38 as we head to the fourth quarter. This is a great play. Great read. Well, and it's... As, as hard and listen, I'm ne I would never and I don't know a single player that would but you got to have the discipline there as Hive to stay on that guy because you're not covering anybody else in the green there, right? Exactly. It's just there's, there's no one else to cover. But again, it's easy for me to say I'm never going to do that. I don't know another guy that would, but that's the right the right discipline you need to have right there. First and 10 back for the pass. Big hit on the play there is going to bring it down to a second down. And I'm, I'd be surprised if it took him this long to be like, you know what? Okay, let's make you uncomfortable in right, pocket too. Right. You got this giant statue of a man back there. I got Moga who's running for his life. Let's go ahead and make Kaiser, Kaiser, however he says his last name, let's make him uncomfortable back there. I'm calling him Kaiser. I've been calling him Kaiser all game. I ain't going to stop now. <laughs> Second down. <laughs> and nice pass right there. He breaks the tackle, and there oh. he goes, getting another first down on the play. <laughs> That is a big time play there by DE. That's a big time play by DE. It's a big time play to stand in the pocket. He gets hit. Man, man, he gets lit up. Yeah. But a great catch and a great break tackle. So first and 10 coming up now at the 48 yard line. Yeah, Oregon's defense is, is coming out with that make him earn it front. As DE will. Get about a three-yard gain there on the play. Second down and seven coming up. Of course, the flip side, if you bring everyone to the line of scrimmage, is there's nobody else back there at that point. So if, if DE makes a guy miss or breaks a tackle, it could be trouble. Second down and seven. Hands it off here again to DE, and DE's going to get the first. Little stick and move, and gets another first here at the 37. So that puts him... At the very least, in field goal range, if he's able to kick field goals. But a first and 10 now here at the 37-yard <laughs> line. It's such a massive caveat, isn't it? Hey, like, it really is. Some dudes just can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some some guys can't do it, man. But what we say it all the time, there's no gimmies in field goals this year. It's just not. And this time, Pryor is in the backfield. And he's going to go straight up the middle here. And we'll get knocked down for a four-yard gain on the play. Second down is six. And it, look, it seems like... He's paid attention to what we discussed about just ground and pound a little bit. Use a little bit of clock because if you're able to score, you're going to create a lot more pressure on Oregon to get back in this game quicker. 100%. And if, frankly, he'd be in an even better, well, he'd probably be winning the game if he had just taken that advice sooner. But that is neither here nor there. Second down and six. And Kaiser will hand it off here to D.E. And he won't gain anything on the play here. So a third down and six coming up. As you can see here, they're pulling up uh, Nolan Hauser's power and accuracy. And it's definitely not that good. So he definitely wants to get a little bit closer here if he has to kick a field goal. For sure. Third and six can be a little uncomfortable. Let's see what Hive's got in defense. Oh, that blitz is coming, and they is going to be forced to try a field goal here more than likely. So a fourth and six. They just overloaded one side of the line of scrimmage and yeah. said, you're going to have to let one of these guys through. And this is a cool boy. This is going to be a tough one. Let's see. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> oh man, he he hit that thing. He drilled it. He drilled it. He drilled it. Okay. That's a that's a big time kick right there. That's huge. That is huge. So 
So here we go. We got a tie game here in the Rose Bowl. First and 10 at the 19 yard line. This is coming down to the wire. And the keeper here from Moga, he'll lose three. This pressure has been so crazy today. And as you can see right now, Moga, he's 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 getting hurt up a little bit here. He is. We can see it. Yeah. This is what we talked about. Look at negative 14 to speed. You can't run your offense that way. No. No, that's it. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be rough. That is gonna be rough here. So let's see what happens. <laughs> does look like the backup is uh, plenty fast himself. Yes, it does. So, yeah, I did see that as well. Yes. Boy, though, this is exactly when you don't want your starting quarterback to have to leave the game. I don't care how good the backup is. So second down and thirteen. Dillard is going to flip this outside there, and that's just fantastic defense. Look at all the help coming in, and that's going to bring it down to a third down to 17. Yeah, for a moment, it looked like he might have the edge there, and then that moment was fleeting. So third and 17 here at the 11. Launches it up, one-on-one -on -one action, and what a shot to get the first down. Oh, my goodness. Unreal play. Just identifies a pre-snap. Wow. This is probably single coverage. I'm yeah. going to hit my guy. Yeah. Like. That's, oh, a, that's exactly what he did. Second and 13 coming up. Well, now you see it, right? There's the wear and tear on the other side. Everybody's tired. It's, it's been a long game. 323 then, remaining. Dillard back for the pass again and going to get the completion and not a oh. lot there at all. So that brings it now to a third down. I just don't... I don't like that decision. There's three people there. You do have your half back in the flat with nobody. Yeah. Probably gets that yardage. Yeah. Maybe gets more if he makes a miss, and like there's no risk of an interception. That could have been picked. Third down and ten here at the 45 yard line. 250 left, and he's gonna keep it. And Dillard's gonna get a first oh, down. Look goodness. at that! Wow, that was beautiful. You know he is not gonna be sitting on a quarterback direct run. What a play call, and then the deke right at the end to just get that extra yardage. Mm. Mm. That was a thing of beauty. That's definitely that. That is coaching right there. That's a great job in coaching that particular play. And look at James. He's going to take off, cut it inside, oh. and James is going to get a first at the 16. And now the Ducks are cooking right now. First and 10 here at the 16. Yeah. So. Earlier, when I talked about some of the decisions B-Boy was making with the ball, particularly where he was throwing it, I was like, that's not championship caliber football. This right here is. It's knowing there's no way. he's. It's third and forever. He's not expecting this run, but my quarterback's the athlete that can do it. It's keeping it on the – it's keeping it simple, making the right reads. Like I said, didn't love that, uh, that drag. I thought that should have been – maybe picked but outside of that this has been clean when it matters the most absolutely first and 10 here at the 16 yard line as we get ready to hit this two minute warning he's probably just going to let this ride to the two minute warning and he will do just that the one thing i will say as well too though is i think i think that i think now that 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 hive has put b-boys defense uh in a little bit of a funk because he, it's almost like he didn't know what to do now that Moga is out of the game. And he figured yeah. that he doesn't have somebody that's going to be able to do the things that Moga does. But alas, that wasn't the case. As James going to get this toad here straight up the middle. And James is down to the one. And that's going to be a first and goal coming up. Yep. And frankly, loves that he got tackled on the one. 
because that's a timeout that B-Boy's got to take. What a great play. And you you said it exactly. One thing I want to add probably is caught a little bit by surprise because he's thinking, well, Moog is out. This is going to slow down the offense. But also, like I said, his guys are tired too. He's not getting that instant pressure up front anymore. He's not getting those instant uh, wins on the line of scrimmage. Uh, and I think you're seeing that matter a lot. And, oh, man, we don't even know what's going to happen here now. I, I hate when this happens. Oh, never mind. We do know what happens. It's a sack. <laughs> <laughs> and that... That feels pretty predictable. I don't like play action bootlegs on the one yard line. Just call a play that runs directly at the line of scrimmage without delay. Yeah, give him the pill. Let him tote that thing. You, yeah. you only need one yard. Give him the pill, let him tote a good toss. And that is wide open for James. And he's going to punch in a major touchdown. Yeah. I suppose maybe the good thing comes to that is that now B-Boy only has a one timeout, so. <laughs> yeah. So Clemson's only down out of one timeout. Now, mind you, we, you, 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 most people already know college football is different. You mm -hmm. get first downs, the clock will stop for a bit. So you mm -hmm. got plenty of time. 147 would be almost three minutes in Matt. Yes, yes. As long as you move the sticks. That's the right. key, though. You have to be able to move the sticks. And Mayo has a foot contusion, but he is coming back. And right, let's see what, what, what is he going to do here now? Is he going to put, well, yep, he's putting Moga back in. He's probably yeah. getting Moga situated and putting him right back in now. Mm -hmm. That's a good call. Good call. Let him get I, a little I, bit of rest. Yeah. Get him a little rest. Get him back in there. But this is it. I mean, hey, in uh, in leagues of old, this is what we'd call a legacy drive right here. Yep. This is this is everything. You are down by seven points. You do have time. We just talked about it. There's plenty of time, but it's crunch time, and it's time to make the smart decisions. This is where he can prove whether he should belong in the, the semifinal round. Kaiser back. Quick pass. Going to be caught, and... DE will get about a nine yard game, brings it to a second down and one. Clock is gonna continue to roll here, under a minute 20 left. And still ticking down, Kaiser in the gun. Back for the pass, got some coverage out there, but does get the completion for a new set of downs. And clock will stop at 110 for the time being. First and 10 coming up here at the 39 yard line. They have started it where you're still going to have a running clock and lose a little bit of time if you're not in a hurry up. I really appreciate that change. And launches this up, and that is incomplete. Oh, bad drop there. We'll bring it now to a second and 10. 54 seconds left in this ball game. Man, I, I get that you're getting hit by the safety, but you're a big boy out there. I think you got to come down with that football. Second and 10, and pressure got there, but he does get the catch and gets out of bounds for a new set of downs once again, a first and 10. Now to 27 yard line. And this is not the way that, you know, earlier in this game even, but, but earlier when he was playing, you know, Hive's defense could run with anybody. And now they're starting to get, again, it's late. Everyone's tired. Maybe they're rotating receivers out better, but you certainly aren't used to seeing that kind of space. First down and 10 here as Kaiser steps up in the pocket, launches it up here, and that ball's caught! He made the oh. catch, and he'll punch in a major touchdown. touchdown! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? What a catch! Just goes up there and gets it, says, that's mine. That's mine. Get off of me. With 44 seconds left, He's got an opportunity to tie it up, and we will head to OT. Oh, you should have said that. Come on now. 44 seconds and three timeouts. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. B-Boy, if B-Boy loses and watches back this stream, he's blaming you, and I'm not blaming him for it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a catch in the clutch. Wow. It that's a great catch. That's a great drive. But I will say, I'm if I'm B-Boy, I'm probably sick to my stomach because that's what I'm asking myself. Did I leave him too much time? 
So first and 10 here at the 30. Now, I don't know. J-Dog might go live for that one, uh, uh, Elder I. He might go live for that one, possibly. <laughs> he, he, he said we got some uh, bonus coverage. They just started their yeah. game over there. So if you want to go live for that one, you can. We do have a game that we have to cover uh, for the OMFL. Yes, yes. Big shout out to the OMFL. We're, we're seven minutes late already because of this game. But... Uh, <laughs> But 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 they're, but they're understanding. Those are my guys over there. We've been rocking with them for quite some time, uh, so they're definitely understanding. And uh, you know, but but well, so because we're late for their game, we're probably going to be a little bit uh, behind for the 10 p.m. game. So hopefully, maybe those guys could go at 10:15, possibly. If you could check with me, that'd be great. Yeah, um, I will. I and make sure. It's I cool. cannot imagine that they can't, but I yeah. will obviously. You know, I'll I'll double check for sure. Yeah, if we if we can um, go with 10:15, we should be solid to go for that one for sure. In the meantime, now, now it doesn't feel like you have as much time. No, not really. He's 29 seconds left now. Third down and nine coming up. I don't hate that throw or that decision. You are putting it up where there's no chance it gets picked. Maybe you give your guy a little room to run. But also, now you're thinking, if I don't convert, I've got a punt. And if he gets a decent return, he's got a timeout. Like, man, this game is still in flux for sure. I'm telling you. Third down and nine, and he'll go down, oh. and a timeout called. He calls his final timeout, and he's going to force him to punt the football out. <laughs> oh, boy. 24 seconds left. You just can't make this stuff up. That's a fantastic punt. 18 seconds left. That that is that's as perfect of a punt as you can possibly have in this situation, because you need it to be as far. You need that punt to be as deep as you can get it, but you also need to make sure that he has zero percent chance to get yards on the return. First down and ten coming up at the twenty-nine yard line. So he does have to get out of bounds now. The clock, yes, it'll stop after a first down, but it will start to run again before he can get set. So he's got to oh, be trying this it ball again, but it wasn't going to work this time, and he does get out of bounds. With 13 seconds left, second down and four, six yard gain. He tried to beat him on the trickery one more time, but it didn't work this time. A lesser man than Hive might have retired if he'd hit that right there. Yeah, I'm but... telling you. <laughs> 13 yeah. seconds left. You don't have a whole lot in in the book for this. No. But you don't need a touchdown either. Yeah. If you can get the ball to the sideline. Kaiser making his mark. The man coverage receivers look like they're shading inside, too. I'm surprised by that. And he's going to launch this up into double coverage, and that is incomplete oh. with eight seconds left. Third down and four. That was a dangerous throw. Very dangerous. A lot could have gone wrong there. And oh. now it is it's touchdown or nothing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, a quick out maybe, and then a Hail Mary. Back for the pass here again, and Kaiser launches it up, and he gets out of bounds here with four seconds left. Okay. At the 42 yard line. I mean, hey, he, hey, look, he, he, he booted, he booted the last field goal. I'm just saying. He did. And what is it going to hurt him right now to give it a shot? I'm with you. He's going to do I, it. He's going to try. Why not? And Hive's definitely going to go for a block of some. I think a straight up block is the best way to do it. Yeah, I agree. I he, agree. He I, should also be taking a timeout anyways. He should absolutely try to ice this. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. There's I, no way, right? I don't think so. And let's see if he gets this thing in and he will not get it. So we're going oh. overtime, guys. <laughs> we got OT. He did not have a, 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 a shot at that one at all. But we're in no. OT. Man, this is going to be crazy. This what is going to be fest. crazy. I'll tell you what, though. I don't think this OT is going to go very long. I think a turnover is going to effectively end this game. 
pretty soon. These guys have both been a little bit too careless with the ball for my taste. And I, I, <laughs> I think that's the way it's going to go, but we'll see. So here we go. Filth, I see you in the chat. Uh, so there's a game after this one that Snipes is calling. So if you and uh, and Hitta can delay, that's awesome. If not, we will uh, we'll make other plans. And tosses it to the outside here for James. Good help tackling again. They've been shutting James down in this game. I'm gonna tell you, second and thirteen here at the twenty-eight. I'm look. This is championship defense that Clemson has played all game against Oregon. Yeah, no, I mean, they have. it's been the offense that's turning the ball over that's betraying that defense because truly, I don't think the defense has has had a 31 point performance. It's they're just they're being put in bad positions on at least a couple of big drives. Second down to 13 here at the 28 yard line and hands it off here to James. James will break to the outside and will get hit down at the 21. So third down and six now coming up. Well, Third manageable. Uh, yeah, very manageable here, and obviously at the 21. So if he doesn't get it here, obviously he kicked the field goal, and if he gets a stop, game over. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Boy, you don't feel good about kicking a field goal, though. Not the way this game has gone. No, not at all. Third down is Moga's going to flip it to the outside, and the defense couldn't get oh. there. And what a play. Stewart will punch in a major touchdown. 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 Oh, there it is. There it is, just a little over pursuit on the outside, and that's all it took. That's all it takes on the edge for this Oregon offense. They're all shifty like that. They're all fast like that. They'll all get this ball into the end zone. Man, just a little bit off. And they're going Game for inches, they're I going, tell you. They're going for two. They're going for two. Yeah, I like this, because you're going to have to go for two next time anyways. Yeah, so. yeah. And a quick pass up oh. at that swat. There we go. So now there's a, a situation where if Clemson scores and they kick a field goal, this game is over. Clemson will win it. Now they got a chance. At the 25-yard line, they just need a touchdown. And the extra yeah. point, and Oregon, the top-seeded Ducks, will go home. Wow. Well, but he's gotta he's gotta score b boy's gotta score a touchdown first so yes. we'll see yes but i don't like running that kind of tricky ish play i don't like running that more than once for that exact reason and he's gonna lose a couple yards here on the play oh you can't have that you can't have that right now at all also i know you've already but but big 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 shout out and thank you to the omfl group we appreciate you over here at sots we are sorry that we are digging into your time right now that was never our intention thank you all so much uh for your patience with us indeed indeed and then like i said my guy my guys are very very patient man i definitely appreciate those guys and uh i've been in contact with them and everything so everything should be all good and this game is a wrap oregon moves on Congratulations to Oregon. He throws it in the double coverage, and the game's a wrap. 37 to 31, the final count in this ball game after that one. J Dog, what's your take on that last play? Uh, I said it right. Somebody's gonna lose this game more than someone's gonna win it in overtime because of a turnover. It, I hate being right because that feels like such an anticlimactic way for it to end. But frankly, B-Boy had been playing with fire all game and and it burned him right at the end. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That was rough. That was rough indeed. Well, guys, with that being said, uh, we're going to get on out of here and get ready for this next game we got to do. And then we're going to be right back here on Snipes TV Gaming as we will be covering the Hurricanes and the Seminoles. That should be a fun battle that's this one right here that should be a fun fun battle as well um so hopefully hopefully we'll be covering them right did they, they, they uh, say they can yeah, go yeah, yeah. 15 okay perfect perfect i'll talk to you i haven't heard back from them but yeah i'm assuming that we will be okay perfect perfect so with that being said guys we're gonna get on out of here we'll see you guys in the next hour or so all right we're out of here guys oh. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. Also, Stats guys, stick around because you're not going to have anything to watch anyways. I know the other game is wrapping up, so stick around. Let's watch the Madden game. Let's support the channel some more while we're waiting, and then you won't miss the beginning of the, the next one for us. Definitely appreciate that indeed. All right, guys. With that being said, we're going to get on out of here. Take care. We'll see you in a bit. 
Orb, stay tuned. We're coming up next. All right? We're out, y'all. <laughs>